Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo here. Wow, cards are just flipping out everywhere. I got two today, same one as before. And this one, Bison Abundance and the Shaman. So someone who needs to embrace their Shaman energy will find abundance. Let's look at these. So we've read this one recently. Okay, you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect to the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. We are going through a void of course moon right now. Until we, I believe, I've heard it said anyway. I'm not an astrologer, but. Um, a void of course moon regarding the new moon that's coming up on the 22nd. Or we're going to be entering it soon anyway. So there's something about... Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries and glide through the void. So while you're feeling all of this energy of whatever that is, understand that there's mysteries, things that have not been revealed, and things are not as they seem at this point in time. So glide through the void and claim your place as keeper of those mysteries. Bison. Abundance. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So this is about abundance and having gratitude. It's definitely about wisdom. There's wisdom all over this spread already. Being wise. Uh, wise about how it is that you create. Using your gifts and talents. Perhaps in a more... In a way that is almost... Not the medical field, but uh, the field of uh, having a hard time communicating. Maybe it's in the field of communication. Maybe you're in the field of communication and you need to head to something that's more uh, like with tinctures and oils and creating that way how to heal people through energy. That's interesting. There's storms going on right now in people's lives, massive storms, because we're all getting in touch with our inner beings, our inner guidance systems, things that we would like for our life, and not always knowing exactly how to bring them about can create in and of a storm of its own. And so... In those storms, just flow with what the divine has on the go. Understand that everything's there for a reason. Your emotions are there for a reason to show you a guidance system forward. They're not there to punish you. If you feel angry, it's not because you're being punished or because you're this or that. Trust the emotions that you have in each moment as a guidance system for you to look at and say, okay, well, if I feel angry about this thing, perhaps the divine feels differently about this thing than I do. Is there a way that I could ease resistance regarding this certain thing? Or if you feel happiness about a certain thing, you know, just to really go with what the divine has on the flow and let yourself glide through this time trusting that the divine has you but listen to your emotions and trust your inner guidance system your intuition the word lord now what i say about someone maybe changing their gifts from communication this is upside down so it's coming as a challenger communication into something a little different possibly could be the scenario here. I'm going to put that up there so I can spread it out some more. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's read this one. By the way, it's card number 43, which reduces to a 7. So we're talking about a very spiritual journey here where this guy's concerned. The word Lord. Let's read it. As a challenger, when the word Lord appears as your challenger, he gently warns of untruths, denial, and unsupportive thoughts, 
and words in any area of your life. If you've been dishonest in any way, it's time to make amends. Change your tune. Otherwise, your impact on the world will not be as effective as you would like. Even if you were to be successful as an immediate result, there would be a price to pay later. If others are being unsupportive toward you, know that it's them, not you. Don't take this world personally. Remember that you don't have to engage others when they project their own fears and negativity onto you. Another message here is about how you speak about yourself. Do you say self-deprecating words? Do you minimize yourself so as not to intimidate others? Do you refer to yourself as less than beautiful? Time to change those unconscious statements now. It's not difficult to change things as we are always giving a choice to make new decisions. As long as you remain positive and supportive, the rest will quickly melt away until all you perceive is the highest good for all. All you need is a desire to change and be positive and the word, word Lord will help you win the game of life. Look at that. Wow. So being positive about yourself, changing the stories, changing possibly the trajectories of your life, but also changing the stories that we tell ourselves in general. Possibly about how we're not good enough, or maybe, you know, we go, ah, that was stupid. Or it could be something as, as small or something as huge as, I'll never, ever, as long as I live, love another person. We've got to somehow change our story here to create what the divine has for us. Communication, praise, dishonesty. So there's something that may be going on. You might be being dishonest to yourself or about something based on how different, differentiating between how the divine sees you in a circumstance and how you see you in a circumstance. So beware of dishonesty. Speak the truth. Beware of dishonesty in others. If someone comes to you wanting to speak of, you know, wonderment, just keep an even keel. If someone comes to you wanting to speak of anger, just keep an even keel. Flow with what the divine has on the go and trust that on the outset of all of this, that it will be revealed to you which way is the truth which way is the way forward? Which way is the way to communicate through this? Okay. Definitely something about communication and someone changing the way that they communicate. Perhaps you've come up against challenges with people not agreeing with your choices and how you move forward in this life. What you do for work. Perhaps you've had somebody say, well, I don't agree with what you do at all, which was my case a few months back. Well, the thing is, is I don't remember asking your opinion. You can either support me in what it is I do or not. It's not about you. What I choose to do with my life and what I choose to be, who I choose to be, who I believe the divine has brought me here to be, you're either you're supportive or you're not, but it's not going to change, make my choice change any. Look at that, the wild woman showing up again. It was in the, one of the last readings. You are making the right choice for you. You absolutely are. And you've got to trust that inner guidance system. That the choices you're making for you are absolutely of upper world knowledge and understanding. Right? This is the upper world we're dealing with here. Look at this gorgeous card. Look at that beautiful animal on there. Is it an eagle? It almost looks like an eagle flying in a different dimension. Perhaps you're entering into different dimensions and understandings of ways to move forward. And there's people that are, are still playing in what they're playing in. And they will have, you will have uh, negative reverberations from the dimension or the parallel energies that you're leaving. The hunter, you feel like you've been hunted possibly? Or you feel like you're hunting for the upper world, hunting to step into the new 
I, I have said so many times that to people when they say negative things, well, I guess it's a good thing because I can reject your reality and replace it with my own. And they kind of look at me odd and I just snicker and walk away. But the truth of the matter is that is the truth of the matter. What someone says about you or for you, whatever their story is, it can remain their story. Also, whatever you're trying to move out of into the new, perhaps you need to change your own story about how valuable you are, about how loved you are, all of these sorts of things. It's so important to understand the value that you have to spirit. Look at that. First card out, Mystical Shaman. Raven Shaman. Someone is definitely heading into sh to being shaman like or shamanism taming the wind card number 55 equals a 10 a brand new start but massive change coming here 38 is net as an 11 so look at that let's read those cards this is absolutely a profound beautiful beautiful reading beautiful absolutely just let me move this out of the way We'll take Taming the Wind first, card number 55. It's like taming the storm, taming the storm within. Abundance is coming and you must use your wisdom to get there. This is so beautiful because somebody is stepping onto that stone, that next stepping stone that I like to call fear. And they are stepping on it to use it as a stepping stone to propel them to the next level. It's absolutely beautiful. And how courageous of you. Card number 55. Let's read it. Here, the feather. A symbol that is used in clearing ceremonies for smudging reminds you of the sacred commitment to make to your life. This is the symbol of consciously bringing the spiritual into the material, infusing the world with reverence and an acknowledgement of the higher planes of existence that influence and animate all life. The feather is a symbolic reminder to deliberately entering into a partnership with the great spirit to create for the highest good for all. Taming the wind. It's time to clear your energy. Be present and become conscious of how you communicate. This is a good time to write in a journal and put your thoughts into a cohesive form. Perhaps you need to actually do a smudging ceremony in your home or office, creating a sacred space to write about your dreams and desires. Just remember that when taming the wind appears as a symbol, it is time to honor the great spirit with reverence and respect. So if you the great spirit is within you, therefore you must honor the great spirit that is within you. So I just went and got my feather for this reading. It's so beautiful. Taming that feather, like use it. You can use feathers for so many things. I usually have it hanging off of here, but I didn't this time. Obviously for good reason. Perhaps you feel like you need to go find your wings. Maybe you need to feel like you need to go and find yourself. Find your wings so that you can fly again. Interesting. All right, let's go to the Mystical Shaman, card number 38. This is a symbol of the myth maker and storyteller who is neither made of nor defined by the story. Instead, he observes it, evolves through it perceives all aspects of it. In so doing, the mystical shaman represents the ability to dream a new story. Look at that. I was talking about new stories and telling yourself a new story. I can't make this crap up. It just blows my mind. It's amazing. It just blows my mind every single time. You'd think it wouldn't, but oh, it still so does. <laughs> oh, okay, let's try. In so doing, the mystical shaman represents the ability to dream a new story, a new myth into being. He dances between worlds, wearing the cloak of the world loosely around his shoulders, and sings the world into being. He reminds us to be in the world and travel through it, but not to be defined by it or become too attached to the experience. This is the symbol of true alchemy for all elements of life have a spiritual aspect 
and a material one. When we remember this, all manner of miracles and manifestations are possible. When the mystical shaman appears, you're invited to consider the ability to live without attachment. You are called to create and dream your life, to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on the known story of success or achievement. Can you impartially observe the stories you tell yourself and others? What if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that have defined you up till now? You do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past. What if there were no need to explain you to anyone, not even to yourself? The way to your most extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This almost makes me cry, you guys, listening to this. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. For me, for you, for everybody. Wow. The way to your most extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. How beautiful is that? I needed to hear that today. I don't know about you all, but damn, did I need to hear that today. Let's pull a postcard from Spirit. I love this deck, the Mystical Shaman deck. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. The Word Lord. Communication, praise, dishonesty structure are you being honest with yourself about who you are have you in some way been reborn into a new you but yet still telling stories about the old you perhaps that's so important to understand we must change the stories because if we keep the same stories they actually limit us i'm sorry about that Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You, ha you wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now, here you are, with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions, and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle, and now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and is given new hope. Loving you always. That's so beautiful. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I'm having an emotional day today. I just feel so in love with spirit and so set free from the things that have tormented me over the last little while. And it, it feels absolutely amazing. It really does. At the same time, it's almost like a a void like that emptiness like you're moving through a situation where I don't really know what's gonna come next but this card here the mystical shaman boy did that speak to me the universe has my back look at that the shaman taming the wind the universe has your back this has all been divinely planned and orchestrated just for you at every turn when I lean towards love I am led. Love yourself, my friends. Love those around you. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So what triggers you? Think of what triggers you and then go below that. Below that and feel into the feelings that have triggered you for so long. Things you have dreamt of for so, so long. What are those things about? What actually triggers you? What brings you bounty? What brings you bliss in the emotional guidance system that you have moving forward? The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. 
I hope this message resonates for you guys. What an absolutely beautiful reading. I'm going to listen to it over and over again. Something tells me I'm definitely going to read that card over and over again. I love you guys so much. And I'm so pleased and so excited about who you are becoming. And the the just the energy and the love and the pure guidance from the divine that's coming. It's absolutely beautiful. I am so happy for you guys. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.